What's up guys, this is Josh, and I have an old MW3GB I got back in January on downturn uh, against a really bad team that we were just screwing around for a couple rounds. Then we uh, decided that let's actually play. Anyway, um, I actually just got a Twitter, so if you guys would like to follow me, link's in the description below where you can talk to me about Call of Duty, uh, updates coming out, things of that manner. Uh, it'll be pretty cool. And uh, I'll be trying to get into Twitter more, more, and more. Okay, anyway, let's get on to it. So what I want to talk about is weapon balancing. Now this is what's going to break or make a Call of Duty game. And that's what it basically has been for, you know, every single online Call of Duty game. Um, personally, you can never really um, think or, what should I say, uh, have a perfect weapon balancing. Because no matter what, one gun's going to shine over another one. Unless you pick every other gun, every gun the same, which will make the game really boring. Um, so what can you really do with this? Well, not really much. The only thing you really can do is just you know uh, try making every gun the same, but different. Let's go back to uh, MW2, shall we? So you had a couple guns that had absolutely no recoil. You had the ACR, the UMP was pretty strong with some recoil. Um, you had the uh, the Scar, which is pretty good, and the Tar. Now, those are all the top, top guns in the game, personally to me. Now, what was the number one gun used? It was the ACR. Why? Just because it was that much better than the Tar. Uh, I think they had the same damage, but the ACR just had a little bit less recoil, so you all you had to do was shoot, aim, and it would kill somebody. Now, how to fix this? Well, people always say, oh, you can just, uh, you know, tune the gun, you know, uh, uh, nerf it a little bit. Well, that can't be the case because if you nerf the gun, uh, the second gun, which would be the tar, would be better. Now, we, there's actually a prime example of that in MW2 with the models. Now, the models were really, really overpowered, and I will agree with this. It was unbelievably strong with the Kimbo. So, they nerfed it. Then what happened? The second best gun, which was the Spaz, all of a sudden became overpowered. It wasn't that it was overpowered, it's because it was the second strongest shotgun in the game. So then, everyone that used the model needed a better shotgun. Because since the models were downgraded to, let's say, rank 4. Now, since the spaz took over, everyone started using the spaz. It's not that it's overpowered, it was just overused. And this happens throughout every single Call of Duty game, that at least they try to nerf it. For example, Black Ops. They nerfed the, the uh, FAMAS a good, like, four times. To the point where it's unusable. Now, what the what was the point of that? If I was using a submachine gun capable of like the AK, which they didn't nerf as well, or like the MP5K, I could beat a FAMAS out close range, medium range. No, I would not be able to. But that's the main reason why people complain is that they're trying to shoot somebody with with like a submachine gun at medium range against someone with a FAMAS. Of course, the FAMAS is gonna win. It's an assault rifle. It has a, a bigger round. Um, the rate of fire was really exceptionally well with the FAMAS. Don't get me wrong. But the hip spread was pretty wide. And so what are you going to do here? You're just going to keep patching the gun till it's unusable? Now what was the best gun? Personally, the Commando. Commando was the best gun, and I didn't really even like the Commando. But now I'm going to start using the Commando. The game's over. They're not going to patch it. Blah, 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 blah. But... You see the trend going? It's not that it's overpowered, it's just overused. Now, <clears throat> in this game, the newer one, the Black Ops 2, it looks... I don't know what they're going to do here. It looks like a lot of guns don't have recoil. Like, they're going with it where um, they, if they have high rate of fire and low uh, um, bullet damage, it's going to have no recoil. If you look at the MP7 that they shown with the silencer, it didn't really have much recoil. That Type 95, which is... Basically, it's like in this game, but it's uh, fully automatic. Um, that didn't seem to have much recoil. The Scar Heavy, or Scar L, I don't know which one it is. Um, it did not, it didn't look like it had much recoil. Uh, that uh, P90 variant, which is the PDW, personal defense weapon, that didn't really have much recoil. So, uh, I'm guessing they're going with guns that don't have recoil, and... Uh, just uh, bullet um, differentials and rate of fire is really going to make this game different. So we'll see where this goes. Um, I'm hoping, I'm hoping they do a good job on this so people stop complaining. Because I'm sick of people hearing complaining. Ever since um, 
they did something really in Black Ops, I think. The community starts complaining more and more and more because they know they're going to do something about it. Which is totally, totally sad because I personally think they shouldn't do anything to any gun. Yeah, it's it's just a little bit more used. As, I mean, deal with it. But, sorry about that. Um, I don't understand it's like people that do complain, oh, FAMAS is overpowered, blah, 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 blah. Why don't you use the FAMAS and try it out? If everyone else is using it, just use it yourself. It would solve a lot of problems. I I'm just saying, it really would. Um, but, you know, there are things that clearly are overpowered. And that will take us back to MW2 days where the uh, Noob Tube, Danger Close, one man Army. Now, you can say the same thing about that. Like, you can use it too. Well, no, because, first of all, that's an explosive. And people just use that cheaply. At least when you're using, if someone else is using the FAMAS against you, you have you have you're the ca you have the capability of beating them. But if someone's at a good distance, ten feet away, that has a noob tube with danger close or grenade launcher, if you want to get technical, they're gonna beat you no matter what. You can't do anything. You might be able to get those two shots off, but once they pull that trigger and it explodes next to you, you're dead. You're completely dead. I don't know. You can't do anything about that. And then the people that are faggy that launch them off in the beginning of the SND round, which I don't know why they didn't fix it and just do what Treyarch did and says, grenade launchers aren't able to be used within 10 seconds because the mass were so big, you weren't going to be able to kill someone in 10 seconds with a freaking... You won't be able to get to the side in 10 seconds, even with lightweight and marathon. It takes about 15 to 20. So it depends. It also depends on what map. But uh, let's see what they do there. Personally, I think... They should just take out launchers in general. That would solve so, so many problems. And they continue to leave it in because they're saying, oh, it's more realistic with my uh, fingers twirling. But if you think about it, Call of Duty is not supposed to be realistic. It's supposed to be fun. Uh, since when has this game ever, ever been about realism? There's absolutely nothing about it that's realism except there's soldiers with guns shooting at other people in combatic, combatic areas. Um... That's pretty much it. I can't think of anything else. Anyway, this game is coming to an end now soon. I'm going to get the last kill here. Ba 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 ba. Four, two. And then rage quit. Alright, well, thank you for watching, everybody. Uh, please comment what you think of this commentary. Was it good? Was it bad? Hate it? Did you love it? Why? Examples, constructive criticism, like, dislike, whatever you want to do, whatever you want to do, really. Um, I reply to every comment, so if you would like. Um, to give me constructive, constructive criticism, uh, please feel free to do it in the description below. Take care, everybody.